In this video, I'd like to demonstrate some of the eye training techniques that are described in the book by Dr. Marilyn Rosanna Barrett called, Do You Really Need Eyeglasses? Now, here I am standing here wearing eyeglasses, so obviously in my case, yes, I do need to wear eyeglasses. My eyes actually got pretty bad pretty young. Um, and in some ways, I might illustrate some of the, the arguments in Dr. Marilyn Rosanis' book because she says, and others have said before her, that part of the reason why so many people have nearsightedness is because we don't use our eyes the way our ancestors did. The way we use our eyes now creates a lot of eye strain. Our eyes were designed to be looking at the far point, looking a long distance away. If you think about our ancestors, they would have been looking around to see what they could go hunt or what might be hunting them. Um, instead, now we spend a lot of our time looking at things at the close point, as for example with reading. We're looking very very near to our eyes, and we stare a lot. We don't look around the way that our ancestors did. Both of these things can create eye strain. A picture being worth a thousand words, I thought it would be helpful to demonstrate some of the techniques that I learned from Dr. Marilyn Rosanna Barrett many years ago. But I would suggest getting her book, as it says a lot more than I can really show you in this, in this short video. The technique called sunning exposes the eyes to varying amounts of light. It stimulates the retina and helps relax the muscles around the eye. To do this technique, you will need to sit in a comfortable chair with a source of light about three to six feet away from the chair and situated so that it is at the same level as your eyes. Now, the source of light should be a light fixture, not the sun. Even though the title of the technique is sunning, I don't recommend that you start by using the sun as your light source. Instead, use a 25 watt bulb. With time, you can work your way up to brighter light bulbs. If you wear glasses, remove them. Then close your eyes gently. You don't need to screw them tightly shut. Just gently close them and then turn your head from side to side. The goal is to feel the light gently soaking in as you turn your head. It should get brighter as you face the light, then light less intense as you turn your head away. So you'll turn your head back and forth, back and forth, feeling the light soaking into your eyes and the muscles of the neck relaxing. Do this for five minutes at first. You can work up to 20 minutes. You can work up to brighter intensities of light. If you're comfortable with a 150 watt bulb, then at that point you could switch to using the actual sun, but for no more than four minutes at a time. And be very, very careful if you're sunning using the sun. Do not look at the sun. Never, never look directly at the sun. You can injure your eyes if you do that. So be sure your eyes are closed before you turn your face towards the sun and then turn your head gently back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The technique called palming involves using the warmth and the darkness provided by the hands over the eyes to promote relaxation. Your hands should be warm, so if they're not warm, if they're cold, then rub them together to warm them or shake them out. Then sit in a comfortable chair, have a pillow or a desk um, available to support your arms. Take your glasses off if you wear them, close your eyes, and then cup your hands over your eyes. Uh, you should not be touching your eyes, but you should position your hands on your face so that you do not see any light, so that it's dark. And then just relax. Allow the warmth from the hands and the lack of light to just help your eyes relax. Feel the muscles around the eyes loosening. Um, spend anywhere from five minutes to as long as you like doing this particular procedure. If you like, you can do it while lying on your bed. Um, you'll need to use a pillow again to support your arm so that the position is not uncomfortable. 
The theory behind the use of these techniques is that in modern life we use our eyes in a way they're not designed to be used. We stare at things too much. We look at things at the close point too much. And this next technique is designed to help correct that, help us learn to use our eyes differently. The technique is called swinging. To do this, you want to stand in a room with your glasses off, facing a window. You should have your feet parallel and a comfortable distance apart. The arms hang loosely. And you swing your body to the right by putting the weight on your right foot, letting the left leg lift off the floor, um, swinging um, to the right, then swing back to the center and on to the left back and forth, back and forth. Now these are gentle rhythmic swings. The point of this is not exercise, but relaxation. How will you be using your eyes during this? Well, look forward, not to the left or the right, but what you are looking at will shift as your head turns, as your head moves, as you're swinging. When you begin, look up a little bit to gently trace a line along the ceiling then come downwards as you continue to swing. When your eyes fall upon the window, then gently allow your focus to shift to whatever's outside of the room. Then shift again when your gaze comes back inside the room, when it passes the open window. So you swing back and forth, back and forth. I'm starting off with 30 swings. You can go up to 100. This shouldn't take terribly long, so I know 100 swings sounds very intimidating, but it should only take you a minute or two. This can be relaxing, and according to Dr. Rosanna Sparrett's book, she says it can be helpful with insomnia if done in the evening at some point. Another procedure that can be helpful for eye strain and helpful to get the eyes to relax is something called lazy eights. This one is very easy and you can do it anywhere. You don't even have to take off your glasses for this one. All you do is close your eyes and then draw a figure eight with your nose. You can do big lazy eights, very large, or you can do very small ones, so small that no one can tell you're doing it but you. It can be done horizontally, it can be done vertically. Any, any way you do it will be helpful. This is something you can do while you're waiting for something to happen, like you're waiting for the laundry to finish or waiting for the bus, waiting for the movie to start during a commercial break, sitting in a doctor's office. You can do this anywhere. All you need to do is close your eyes and draw a figure eight with your nose. The last of the techniques that I'd like to illustrate here is the use of pinhole glasses. Now this particular pair of glasses actually belonged to my longtime colleague and friend, the late Dr. Nicholas Gonzalez. He would wear these many times in the evening as he was returning phone calls. And he lived to age 67 and never needed reading glasses. So he attributed that to the regular use of the pinhole glasses. Um, pinhole glasses will improve your vision in a way when you put them on. It's actually an optical trick. They don't change the eyes in any way. Uh, the way that the light streams in through the pinholes um, affects the way your eyes focus, and so you'll feel like you're seeing better. As soon as you take them off, that effect will go away. But the pinhole glasses are useful because they help your eyes relax. It's impossible to strain your vision while you're wearing the pinhole glasses. And so they're helpful in that way. Whenever I'm working late at the end of the day, if my eyes are feeling tired, I'll take off my regular glasses, put these on, and wind up feeling much better after a few minutes. The pinhole glasses can be purchased many different places, but they are available through Amazon. Having said all of this, um, with all these different techniques that I've shown you in this video, 
None of this should take the place of seeing an eye professional, an ophthalmologist or an optometrist. I'm not suggesting that you ignore their advice or not go see them. Uh, I think that it's important to take care of your eyes every way that you can. And the techniques in this video may help you learn to deal with eye strain, help your eyes relax, and hopefully help them feel and function better.